Hey crew, it is Wednesday, um, January, July 13th, and I got home this morning from San Diego at 1 o'clock in the morning, and slept, and then did a Leadership Pendleton Government Day, which was fairly interesting, but unfortunately I've got a cold, <coughs> and I'm feeling pretty lousy. So, um, uh, I just thought I'd check in and say hi. I'm actually currently watching, just started the, um, the Galaxy are playing, uh, Seattle in the U.S. Open Cup, and there's a live stream of it, so I'm watching the live stream of that, um, right now. Um, looks like Galaxy's got their, largely got their first team out there. Um, so anyway, um, the trip was good, um, had a really good time, uh, uh, saw a lot of people I knew from both Penn State and ESRI, had a chance to hang out and talk to people, enjoyed the soccer game, as I, I told you, I will upload the footage of the Landon Donovan goal against Chicago, um, when I get a chance, but, um, yeah, I realized how much I miss the GIS community uh, being there. It's just, there's there's so much, you know, compared to the IT community, the GIS community is much more socially aware and, and has a greater sense of purpose, like, you know, what they're working, they're, they're working to make the world a better place, and they really believe it. It's kind of crazy how much, how, how they believe it, you know, the degree to which they believe it. And, Actually, there was a keynote address by a couple, husband and wife, who do, um, uh, uh, whoops, looks like Seattle just scored a goal, uh, against LA. Anyway, um, there's a husband-wife team, uh, the wife is a geographer, the husband's an agronomist, who, um, have been helping the Sudan develop their coffee industry. Um, and there was a little video that, that they showed at the user conference, which I um, took video of their video, which is probably a copyright violation, but somebody can sue me, I guess. I'm not going to make any money off it. Anyway, uh, I'll put paste that in a video, too. But I figured if I didn't make a video now, I just wouldn't do it. Anyway, so it was interesting seeing, you know, they're talking about doing good and, and doing well and all that stuff. So... Um, did they actually score a goal? It still says 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, I didn't see a kickoff. Oh, no, there's the 1-0, yeah. Um, <coughs> anyway, um, I've got some herbal infusion here with some honey in it that I'm going to uh, make use of. Um, anyway, uh, the conference was, you know, I just was there for two days. I wish I could have stayed a little longer. I got to see a bunch of people, and I, um, I also, uh, on the, f my flight home was fairly uninteresting yesterday, but, um, uh, I started getting sick, unfortunately. Actually, I woke up yesterday morning, um, with a sore throat, and I felt okay yesterday, but by the time I got home, I felt horrible. And now I feel, um, oh boy, oh, they should have just scored another goal, Seattle. Uh, they're just, LA looks uninspired. Um, I felt horrible during leadership Pendleton most of the day today. It was kind of lousy. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, it was interesting, though, because we, uh, we talked about, um, uh, we get to, to talk with the city manager, with the, uh, um, county commissioner, and with the ED from the tribe talked, and then also with a, um, uh, state representative from, uh, Pendleton. And, uh, you know, it's just, it, it was really fascinating to me the things that they decided to talk about. 
and not talk about. Um, you know, I, I, I obviously, I always like the vision, and I think a lot of them like the, uh, <coughs> you know, they, they want to talk about specific projects that they worked on, um, and how those specific projects gave them success. And, um, and there was no, there were no real clear vision statements from anybody. Um, some less than others. And no, yeah, anyway, it, but it was interesting. And actually we got to see, we got to tour, it was interesting, the city ran the, the government day and they had us tour the water treatment plant and the, um, and the sewage treatment plant. And that was our you know, sort of how government works. And they're doing some real innovative stuff, but I suspect it's because the guy who runs the public works department is pretty innovative and, and proactive about doing those sort of things. Um, we also did a mock city council meeting where we all played kind of roles. And uh, that was interesting as well in that um, I felt that, you know, I think, I think decision makers get used to making decisions with incomplete information and they get um, comfortable, and they and they stop asking for complete information. I mean, there's a lot of things that can be known that would help them make decisions, and I think they they just are used to the idea that they're not going to have that information, and they shouldn't, and and they don't bother to ask for it. Um, it strikes me that that's the case anyway, and I believe that they should have that information. And and actually, if you're running the uh, the city government that you know you would want to have an information systems in place that would help you uh, share that information but obviously I am biased and have a, uh, um, a predilection towards IT solutions and maybe I just want to solve, see it frame all problems as an IT problem who knows anyway <coughs> um, so uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. I figured I'd put up a video and do a quick capture because otherwise I'm probably not going to edit a video tonight. Um, probably going to go to bed early, actually. Um, so I will... Uh, I think I'll sign out um, and, uh, and give you the still dead um, moniker. Not moniker, what is it? Uh... I can't remember my brain is toast. Anyway, like I said, I don't feel good. And now the Galaxy are losing one nothing. Of course, it's the U.S. Open Cup, so if they get out of the U.S. Open Cup, that means they have one less competition that they need to worry about, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, you've been watching the World, Women's World Cup. Actually, on Sunday, I did watch... Um, I watched the game... No, no, not Sunday. It, it was Sunday, yeah. So Sunday night, actually, I didn't watch the game because I was driving while they were playing, but I watched a replay of it Sunday night before I went to bed. It was a good game. It was fun to watch, actually. It was amazing. The uh, the calls against the U.S. were uh, pretty bad, um, and they still managed to win, which was cool, and they won today 3-1, which was also cool. So um, they're playing in the final Sunday. I guess I'll have to find a way to watch that um anyway uh yeah and actually it's interesting i think uh, the you know the the one thing about the u.s brazil match was that the brazil team just had a lot of skill on the ball i mean they looked they looked really good on the ball um it's too bad that they were such diving cheaters um because, uh, you know, I, I just don't understand uh, why you can't have somebody who's really skillful on the ball and tricky who's not a diving cheater, which um, <clears throat> seems to be a problem in professional soccer. <sighs> Man, on the plane home yesterday, I was already sick, but there was this uh, girl sitting next to me who was probably <coughs> 13 or 14 years old. And she was just coughing and hacking. And I kept on feeling like the results of her coughing and hacking on my arm. And I was just like, oh, really? Do we really need to do that? Do we really, really need to have you coughing and hacking on my arm? 
can you please cover your cough? I didn't actually say that. I, you know, I wanted to, but I, she was very sweet and very nice girl, and I talked to her, and, but I, I didn't want to make her feel bad by saying, please don't hack on my arm. Um, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I will, um, I will talk to you, uh, more in the future. I'll try to cut together some of the footage that I have, the video and various things from my trip. Um, uh, until then, I'm still dead. I don't think I do this.